Hi guys, welcome to another Living in SA TV video. David here. Today we will talk about the N2 Wild Coast toll road that is valued in 16 billion rand. So stay tuned, so we're gonna check all this in detail. Okay, so thank you very much guys, first of all for the 6,000 um, subscribers and also for my Patreon. So if you wanna help me out with my channel, if you wanna make your contribution, don't forget to go to the links below for my PayPal and also my Patreon, don't forget that. And let's go to the video because it's highly important to understand every detail. So Sunroll is a South African National Road Agency. So they basically build all the uh, roads in South Africa. So it's important why? Because this channel is not only uh, seen by South Africans, but also by other people in other countries. So it's important to add these type of details into the video itself. So stay tuned. Our story began a long time ago. It's a story of growth, where we have seen the country change. Every day, there's something new. Something well done. Having traveled the world, I can say the future is right here. Mzansi. Sanrel, Beyond Roads. Very, very interesting. So this project will cost 16 billion Rand and will connect Durban all the way down to East London, creating a road link between Port St. Jones and Port Edward. Of course, it will consist basically in upgrading and maintain uh, the road network and also will be probably finished around 2024 or 2025. We'll also have uh, seven bridges in total, having two mega bridges in between which I will talk about then further in the video. Um, this is all for now, so let's check the next video. I remember arriving in the Trans Sky in 1983. Back then, traveling on gravel roads in poor condition, roads that made access for local communities extremely difficult. I've been in the Eastern Cape ever since and been fortunate enough to witness and contribute to infrastructure upgrades and developments that have literally changed people's lives. Well, we're not done yet, not even close. I'm here today to tell you about a project that's been in the planning for the past 30 years and will finally commence construction in January of 2019, the Imsikaba Bridge. With the support of local community leaders, municipalities, royal houses, traditional leaders and provincial authorities, Sanrol will develop the largest cable state bridge in South Africa, right here in Ponderland. This bridge is for the local communities and all South Africans. Approximately three to four hundred skilled and unskilled workers will be employed. This number is small compared to the 6,000 plus jobs in the development of the connecting highways either side of the bridge. Sanrol has a responsibility to the communities affected by the infrastructure development. Sanrol makes sure that they are not only cared for, but will actually benefit from the construction taking place. My name is John Gibbard, and I am a civil engineer, project manager, and member of the project team developing the N2 Wild Coast Highway. I have been involved in this project since conception and I feel extremely privileged to be involved in its implementation. Even though it has been 30 years in the making, it is time well spent because Sanwell knows that the development is welcome here and will change people's lives for the better. 
Okay, so 30 years on the making, how amazing is that? Okay, so the three biggest contractors in this project are Concord, the um, architect firm uh, uh, Dissing Weitling and also the engineering firm of Mota Engel. And it's great to know that knowing that Mota Engel is a Portuguese engineering firm, that we have some Portuguese engineering into this project. Okay, so let's see the next video. in Ponderland on the southern side of the Msakaba River Gorge and this project is a 5.4 kilometer haul road which is giving access to the southern side of the Msakaba River Gorge for the construction of the Msakaba River Gorge Bridge. This road is seven meters wide as a haul road and it is to give access for the plant and construction equipment that will have to get to the site where they will then construct the bridge. Part of the road goes through sandstone cuttings which had to be blasted so there was a large portion of um, cut and fill and mass earthworks on this project. Utilise some of the local labour from the, from the community and they have gained experience throughout this project. I never did a uh, step road before, this was my second step road and uh, yes I'm happy with the uh, with outcomes. I've learned to build a slip road. They also taught us how to um, do the side uh, the side drains. I mean, we are small contractors. We are trying to get ourselves uh, out there. Hopefully, we'll get more work from Sun. Challenges faced on this project: the in situ conditions in the ground being uh, very wet and unstable. Sections that had to be removed. We had to use far more rock fill. To, to raise the final road level. We are about three quarters of the way through this project. We are about 25% of the way through with the concrete work on, this, on the project. The gravel wearing course is being completed on this road and one can already get access all the way through to the gorge at this stage. The community have been very helpful throughout the, the project and they've been very understanding. So if you guys want to know more details regarding the project, don't forget to check the Sunrise website as you can see there is a lot of details that you guys can consult and study for yourself. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is check this project more in detail and I'm talking about the two mega bridges. Let's check it out. The 16 billion rand project will connect Durban to East London and it will include seven bridges. And two mega bridges over the Matento and the Masikaba River. Construction started in January 2018. When completed, this road will save commuters 85 kilometers. Okay, so on the Msikaba and Matintu rivers are part of the N2 Wild Coast project. Both bridges will cost 1.6 billion rand. The Matintu bridge, once completed, will open as the highest bridge ever built in the African continent, with a deck height of approximately 223 meters. It will be total of 1,000. 132 meters long. The massive central beam span of 260 meters will also be a record for the African continent among beam bridges and the 141 meter pier 9 will also be the tallest on the continent. The entire structure will have a deck of 22.8 meters wide with walkways on both edges. The nearby cable stayed 
Msikabu Bridge will not be as high as Matento Bridge, but the main span of 580 meters will be the second longest on the African continent. With the 680 meter span Maputo Katem Bridge in Mozambique topping the list in this department. Both bridges were inaugurated in November 2017, according to Google, but they will open to the public in 2024 or 2025, when the project is completely done. Okay, so after seeing all this, you guys think what an amazing mega project with so many great things happening, like uh, opening up uh, uh, the, the country to, to areas that are not developed for progress, as tourism, um, less commuting time around and all this, this is so beautiful, but you guys need to see the dark side of this project, okay? So you guys need to understand that the raw materials need to come from somewhere, and in order to build these roads and these bridges, we need a lot of sand. So, if we are near the coastline, you know exactly where we're going to get that sand. So, at the moment, tons and tons of sand have been removed 24-7 from the beaches. And the whole coastline has been butchered in order for this mega project to be done and this is horrible because the wild coast it's unique in fauna and flora and you know like this is happening illegally so you, we have people with trucks literally removing sand from the coastline they hire people by paying as little as 150 rand and they sell those trucks full of sand for prices as 1,200 to 1,500 uh, rand. And it's crazy. This is, this is, this is, it is not being done anything to stop this. And uh, I will leave you guys a little bit of a few links below so you can do your own um, research. Um, also mining, there is a lot of titanium in the wild coast. The, what I'm trying to say is, are we going just to mess this beautiful area of our country just because of profit? Just because of self-interest? Look, I can picture, you know, driving all the way down on the N2 and see those beautiful sightings, but are we going to destroy nature? You know what, this, this is one of the dark side of uh, mega projects that I actually don't talk about a lot, but this I had to mention uh, because our country is huge and we really need to, to pay attention to this because if we destroy nature, if we destroy uh, you know, everything around us, the water we drink, we know how, how much toxicity goes into uh, you know extraction into mining and is this really like well that's just giving you guys food for thought uh, thank you for watching once again uh, don't forget to support the channel uh, via paypal or via um, um, or via patreon uh, once again my name is david uh, this was another video and see you in the next Living in SATV video.